AI and 5G will bring the intelligent edge to life. I think we, we, we talked about edge, you talked about edge a great deal. But the uh, interesting thing about edge when you were talking about it, Jason, was um, you, know, you, you defined edge as a, a CO. Um, uh, could be a tower or it could be a premise. Um, how do you guys see the growth there uh, you know, in, in kind of percentage-wise? you see it evenly? Do you see it more disparate towards CO? I define edge as a location, an infrastructure, and now a virtual function, right? Because it's, in, in the cellular world, that's really what's starting to take shape. There's a ton of different ways people define it. That's how I look at it, right? The location, at some point, may be all the way down to the tower from a not the device perspective. Hyper edge to me is the device, and we talked about before, there's this push-pull in the automotive and drone industry, how much is on the device versus how much is one hop back. Um, and, you know, if you're in a metro, you'll, you'll get sub 10 milliseconds probably at, at the network edge, AKA the CO. I mean, that's existing real estate, right? Then the question comes back to economics, which is, do I retrofit? Do I put a data center in a box beside it? Do I partner with the big data center customers to put the stuff in there? And you're seeing plays uh, with the CSPs, right, where they're starting to look at, I mean, you never see this before, now they're starting to look at the core builders, right? When you think of the core builders, you're thinking Ericsson, Nokia, Samsung, Cisco, et cetera. Suddenly you're starting to see them instantiate those services in their, in their edge, right? Uh, which means, again, they're, they're trying to make a home for, for operators to play in because, again, it's beachfront real estate. Right, uh, I think in terms of timing, premise edge will probably be first in the campus. That's going to start changing. I think the land starts to change a little bit. It's probably a little early, but I think you got to start planning both how the application changes, as well as security, because that's the I look at it from a Maslow's hierarchy perspective. The, the food and water we need that's is that is that connectivity, and you don't really think about it till it's gone or it stinks. The next level up on top of that is, is privacy and security, and then it's the shiny object on top, which is use cases. The top's going to drive the bottom, but at the same time, that platform can still be stable to where you can build the edge wherever you need it. What does the customers or the users yeah. think the edge is? And, you know, and I can tell you, we have oil and gas customers. We found malware out on their oil rigs. Yeah. And, but we don't get them until they ship their logs back. We tell them, oh, wow, and now it's a day later. So now their, their version of the edge is, I want you running the analytics right out there on the oil rigs. And the same thing with some of the container ships that we've found malware that could disrupt the operation of the container ship shipping the, the barrels, and they now want it on the ship. We have customers that are in South Florida. We're working at the boat show. All these big yacht owners, they're worried about, you know, they want it on the, the yacht out as, as, at sea. So if you go to the customer use cases of what they think the edge is, I mean, they think well, the edge is I, wherever the hell I am, I don't care if I'm in the middle of the ocean or what. And not only do I want everything ship, you know, working right, but I want you to make sure it's all secure at the same time. And the edges are relative to your position in the yes. infrastructure, right? And yes. You know, it's funny in that if you're, from my perspective as a software guy, right, it used to be that it was everything lived around the data center. And right, now we're actually right. realizing it doesn't really matter anywhere near the level it used to, right, because it's all pushed out. And again, that's where we really see more and more of it actually moving towards identity of whatever that consumer is and wherever that individual may be.